Well, let's talk the serious side and the lighter side of Mayor Lenny Curry. His eight years as Jacksonville's mayor almost over. Tonight we continue our exclusive conversation with the mayor and his wife Molly from their home. No topic off limit. He even told me all about his new tattoo. So see if you think it looks logical, like something a CPA would choose. Both Curry and his wife, in fact, are CPAs. How long have you guys been married? It's going to be 20 years in January. Did you know that? I did. <laughs> <laughs> a big anniversary soon for Lenny and Molly Curry and family. So important to him. Look at his first tattoo. So right here, it's a C for Curry. B cubed in the middle for all three of the kids, Boyd, Brooke, and Bridget. And ML below it for Molly Lee. And then a cross for my faith. Oh. And so your wife loves it? No. <laughs> <laughs> the Currys live in San Marco, and that takes us to Hurricane Irma. Let us know so we can come get you. Dangerous flooding, and I remember Curry saying, if you need to be rescued, wave a white shirt out your window. That hit me like a gut punch. Having to say that did the same thing. But when you are the mayor... You're all alone in the decision. If you make the right decision, you save some lives. If you make the wrong decision, it's scary to think about what could happen. And now to this big topic. Of all of your accomplishments, which one do you think helped Jacksonville the most? Uh, by far, pension reform, because we were broke. So and nothing else happens without that, nothing. But for the next mayor? The next administration may try to change what I did. They're going to have a very difficult time doing that. We took new hires out, in, out of traditional pension plans. If they come back, it's going to cost the city over $800 million. But will Mayor-elect Donna Deegan bring back pensions for new hires instead of the 401k type plan Curry created? I'm hearing from our police officers and our firefighters that they are concerned about the level of retention, that other communities that have a defined benefit uh, might have an advantage over Jacksonville. People get trained up here, they stay for a, a little bit, and then they go off and, and, and get themselves a pension someplace else. Always some controversy, but Curry says, looking back over eight years. People in the city are so kind. Like, if you look at social media, you'd think everybody hates each, each other. Curry has himself been criticized about his Twitter presence, but as mayor, he's gotten to know people in Jacksonville. They may want to talk about their pothole or their garbage for a few minutes, but I, I don't think I've had three negative experiences in eight years with, with individuals in Jacksonville. In person. In person. And for his kids. Grounded. Mm -hmm. You've done a good job of mm -hmm. keeping them incredibly grounded. He credits his wife, Molly, for teaching them to give back, to serve the community. And as for dad, what's next? Jump into the fray? Who is going to win the Republican nomination, DeSantis or Trump, and who do you want? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching at this point. <laughs> Is that your best hit on the fence here, answer? Here's, here's, here's what I don't want to happen, but it appears we're headed that way. As, as a Republican, I don't like the idea that two Republicans may be um, tearing each other apart. Will Curry run for something? I'm not on a ballot anytime soon. <laughs> but he will say. My oldest is going to college. I've got two in high school. I need some real family time. And that comes July 1st. And you can watch my extended 30-minute interview with Lenny and Molly Curry. It's streaming right now on First Coast News Plus for Roku and Fire TV. Now, your most accurate forecast from the First Coast News weather team, sponsored by ACD.